In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to save thousands on your taxes. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get in deep in this video and this is a way that you can create generational wealth and be able to keep a tax basis super low, specifically in the state of California. You will have to check out other areas, but this is gonna be specific for all my California residents. So in April of 2021, there is a proposition that was enacted and went into place called Proposition 19. Now this was a huge, huge change for the propositions that preceded it that had to deal with the same thing. And what this does is it actually protects your property tax basis of your residence within the state of California. Now, prior to this proposition being enacted in April of 2021, there was Proposition 60 and Proposition 90. Now, those two have now gone away and there's a lot of specifics I can get into of what was good and what was bad about them, but let's focus on right now. Right now, Proposition 19 is a huge way for families to create generational wealth. Why is that? Well, specifically, this is what happens. And we are meeting clients that that this is affecting on a daily basis. And that's why it's so important. Let's say that you have parents or you yourself are 55 years or older and you are thinking about selling your property. Well, now with Proposition 19, everybody was, was afraid to, to sell their property. And now with Proposition 19, they have that ability because you can actually roll over your property tax basis into a new property. Now, what is so unique about this proposition that did never existed before is that there were some parameters with regards to sales price of what could and could not happen. Well, that now has gone away. Proposition 19 is really allows homeowners to run the full gamut of what they're looking for as far as relocating their principal residence. And that's the key about Proposition 19. It has to be your principal res residence or your primary home. That's how the proposition reads. So specifically, let's say that you elect to make a move and we have clients that are kind of coming in together and creating multi-generational living. And so sometimes what they'll do is they'll have their parents and one of the conditions of the proposition is that you have to be 55 years or older for this to go into effect. So you are a homeowner and you are 55 years or older. You can sell your home and buy another home and go ahead and transfer that tax basis. And what's so unique that never existed before is that the prices don't have to matter. But there's a catch. Let me give you an example. Let's say you sell your home for 500,000 and you buy a new home in another neighborhood, maybe it's closer to your children, or maybe it's somewhere that it's even more rural and it's bigger and you're gonna have an opportunity to have multi-generational living there. Well, let's say that home is at 600,000. So there's a $100,000 gap in between those two prices, what you sold your home for and what you bought your next one for. The neat thing about Proposition 19 is it will allow you up to 500,000 to continue the same basis of what you had in your previous home. So let's say you were only paying $2,500 a year for your taxes. Well, for the first $500,000, you're still gonna pay that same amount. And now you pay new tax on the remaining 100,000. That never existed before. There were a lot of parameters and restrictions of how sales prices and purchase prices had to meet. That is now all gone out the window. And why this is so neat is because I've seen my friends and I'm seeing clients really benefit from this because as our parents age or we have children and now we want the grandparents to be around and we want to have multi-generational living, we go ahead and we can buy a property and move everyone there and take the basis of where my parents, let's say for example, use the basis of their home uh, that we sold and now that starts the new basis for the next property. Why that's so key for generational wealth is that that tax basis is just transferable to the next of kin. So I can take that basis and transfer it to my children. Uh, my parents can transfer it to me. And so that's what creates such a unique opportunity in the state of California right now. And it's not limited by county. Prior to Proposition 19 being enacted, the counties had to be reciprocating counties. No longer does that exist. So for example, if I wanna sell my home in San Diego, but I wanna go and move up to Ventura County, I'm allowed to go ahead and transfer my tax basis from San Diego County to Ventura County. That is a fantastic way to be able to bring families close together and create an opportunity for 
what in reality and the reason that the proposition was enacted was to create more housing. Now, whether or not that actually will happen remains to be seen because what is happening is that the proposition is very specific that it has to be your principal residence. And so no matter what, only on principal residence can this tax basis rollover go into effect. It cannot be a rental property. It cannot be any type of, of investment property or anything of that nature. That doesn't work with the proposition. So, and the neat thing too, is that prior to this, you were only allowed to do it one time. Proposition 19 allows you to do this three different times after the age of 55 or older. So, let's say you do it once and then you need to move into a different home, you can roll over that basis again. I had a client this last year that used it. They relocated from the desert closer to the ocean because of health concerns and infrastructure for those health concerns. So that was an ability for them to take a really low tax basis from one county in the desert region and bring it over here into San Diego County. So there's a lot of benefits. So if you have any questions or anything of that nature, I'm always here for you. But I wanted to show this. It's so such a unique opportunity for families to create generational wealth and be able to pass that along within their family members for future years to come.